还有就是像法国、德国一些欧洲国家在这里再生能源的这些机制到底是怎么样啊？呃，还有其实 Michael 本身也是这个关于欧盟的这个核废除役跟核废料基金管理的议题，说不定这几个问题可以请他一起跟大家分享啊，谢谢。Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> what basically uh, one needs to understand is that the exchange of electricity in Europe is a matter of price. It's not a matter of capacities, it's a matter of price. There is a stock exchange on electricity like there is a stock exchange uh, on, on, on uh, shares of companies. So it depends on the price, the lowest will win. So uh, electricity is traded the way uh, other goods are traded or shares are traded. Now, when <clears throat> this is one of those those amazing myths uh, about the electricity uh, 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 imports of Germany. First of all, uh, when Germany shut down eight reactors, it's not all of the reactors. No? It's it's eight of seventeen. Uh, the price signal was obvious. So obviously the price increased in the short term, and obviously there was some, some there was electricity flowing into into Germany because the price signal that was given uh, uh, was had this effect. However, after a few months, the uh, the when I look at the exchange with Germany, the the exchange reversed, like it was before. Because nuclear France has been importing uh, electricity from Germany for many years. Like, was a net importer of electricity from Germany for many years. And one of the reasons is the high peak consumption in the winter. Because France has pushed uh, electricity uh, into electric space heating uh, system, electric uh, water, warm water production, etc. So it has distorted the, the electricity system with this high peak load in winter, which in turn led to energy poverty because, you know, if the kilowatt hour is cheaper, but you 30% uh, cheaper, let's say, than in Germany, but you use twice as much electricity or three times as much electricity, your energy bill <coughs> will be much higher. And that's the problem in, in, in France. Uh, that's the, the, the huge energy poverty uh, problem. Now, after after the, the that that price signal event, and when it re, uh, when Germany became a net exporter, we had a situation that was actually quite quite amazing, which was um, after uh, at you know at the cold wave in in February. And when you look at that that picture, it illustrates that. The, the surrounding countries of France were actually saving the French grid, right? I mean, the most nuclear country in the world was basically saved by electricity exports from the other countries to France. And if you look at the, the capacity that's, that was made available by Germany, it's 3,000 megawatts. That's the largest capacity of all countries. Uh, and it, it was limited to 3,000, it could have been more, there was enough capacity. It was limited to 3,000 because the transport, the transmission lines didn't allow for more capacity to be made available. So this is a quite different picture, right, from this idea of uh, uh, Germany can phase out nuclear power because uh, the French supply nuclear power to the, to the Germans. And the, the, the system reason is, is this, is that the, the, the decision to push for electric space heating and this, this huge peak in the winter leads to a very fragile electricity system. It means that every degree of the temperature that is uh, dropping, that the thermometer is dropping, for every degree, single degree Celsius, 2,300 megawatts are needed additionally in the French grid. 2,300 megawatts per degree. I know, now everybody knows that the thermometer can fall in 24 hours by 10 degrees easily, no problem. 
That's 23,000 megawatts that are needed additionally to the previous day if that happened. So it's a very, it, it, it's a very unstable situation. It's a very, uh, it illustrates actually the stupidity to have pushed uh, uh, electric space heating uh, to such a degree as it was. Uh, the second question was on dry storage, and if you allow me, I show you a picture which might surprise you. Not many people uh, actually know that uh, uh, in Fukushima there was a dry store. Is anybody in the room that knew that there were actually dry store casts in, in Fukushima? This is a picture of uh, the dry store after the, after the tsunami hit. So all you see is basically a few algae on the, on the uh, dry store cast. Absolutely zero impact. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why nobody talked about it, because it had zero impact. So once again, I'm not saying this is the ultimate safety. Uh, dry cast storage has problems. Uh, and it will be, it has to be seen for how long they will last, especially the joints, etc. I mean, it's, 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 there's no 100% safety. But it, it's incomparably more safe than the pool storage uh, that exists in particular at, at Unit 4. And the other one, uh, other dry, dry uh, storage uh, cast. When it comes to acceptance, it's very interesting that in a country like Germany where it was decided to uh, prohibit by law the shipment of spent fuel to reprocessing facilities. And that was a, a matter of, that was an outcome of a democratic debate. People thought they understood reprocessing is, a, is a, an incredibly uh, um, uh, dangerous activity which, which, just to give you an idea, the radioactive releases of a reprocessing plant are, are thousands of times higher than a nuclear power plant. It's, it's not at all comparable with the nuclear power plant. So it was prohibited by law. And then the, the power plant operators decided to build dry stores on site, on each reactor site. And the acceptance level for those dry stores was extremely high. It doesn't mean that people have not debated about it, and there was a discussion how to do it. And in most cases, it's a hardened design. It's not like in the American design, where you just put them outside. It's a hardened design, so it's a, it's a, it's a real, it's like a bunker uh, uh, design in most cases. So, so there is debate about it, but the acceptance level is very high. Uh, when it comes to monitoring, uh, you see, I mean, I don't only think there should be availability of monitoring results from the operators or from the government. I think that citizens should set up their own uh, uh, lab. That is something that came out of the Chernobyl accident in Europe, is that there were independent laboratories uh, installed that had their own measuring capacity. That increases really trust in um, the The final point that was raised was on um, affordability. Uh, like, uh, uh, you were very surprised to find out that there is a problem of uh, uh, energy poverty in a country like France. By the way, it's not the only country. Uh, the UK energy poverty is a huge problem. And there is now a unit called Access Winter Deaths. That is like people that die in excess of expected uh, uh, mortality uh, in the winter. Uh, the Access Winter Deaths in the UK, the last figure that was given is 40,000. 40,000 people die more in winter than expected, uh, due to a whole range of causes, of course, but one very important cause is energy poverty, because people, people get sick if they can't afford to heat, and then they die of sickness. And it's a real, it's a real social problem. And there is debate about this, but it's a relatively new debate, and the, the data situation for, for most of the European countries is actually, is actually still uh, very bad. When it comes to subsidies, yes, there is. The French government has decided 2005 to create what they called um, the, the tariff of primary necessities, which allowed people to get the kilowatt hour 
uh, for up to half, 50% uh, less than other people. So it's a very substantial subsidy. That subsidy is paid for by the electricity company. So the, the, the main part of it. So they basically subsidize themselves. But it also draws social funds in, in regional funds and, and national funds. So it's a huge problem because it empties basically social funding that is not available anymore for, for, for other causes. This has the subsidy, the, the primary necessity tariff has been increased after the economic crisis. So now it's up to 60% uh, uh, reduction of the uh, average electricity uh, cost. Oh, 